All right, what's up guys? Today's a very exciting day. I've got a pretty big turbo in front of me and it's going on my Honda Civic. What I wanted to talk to you guys about today is some of the things that I bought to help install the turbo properly and safely. Some of those things are gonna include the oil feed and return lines, as well as some gaskets, bolts, and adapter plates that I'm gonna show you where these go and why we're using them. Uh, but for today, we're gonna have some fun. So let's go ahead and dig right in and I'll show you what we've got. What we have here is a oil feed and return installation kit by Mamba on eBay. I think I got it for around $65. Uh, really great deal considering what you're going to get in the kit. Uh, first, on the feed side, we've got the restrictor plate that's going to adapt to our turbocharger. What this is going to do, this is very critical, this small pinhole is changing the volume because we don't want to have too much oil pressure to the turbo. If we do, it's going to push it through the seals and you're going to be burning oil and it's not good. So that's very important. It comes obviously with the appropriate gaskets and bolts. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like with this part installed. So first, we're gonna need to grab the gasket and just try to hold it the best you can with the adapter plate. And remember, it has that restrictor built in already. Our bolts are gonna go in Just finger snug there. And what I'm gonna do is put in some Loctite 272, just a touch. We don't wanna lock these in here forever. But what I do wanna prevent is these bolts from backing out and causing an oil leak. Uh, that would obviously be catastrophic to the turbocharger. It would lose pressure and burn it up, but you'd also have a mess and a lot of smoke. So I'm gonna put on just a little dab on both bolts. Okay, one thing I wanted to show you guys is this oil feed line is a flare fitting, it's a taper. So adding Teflon tape to around the threads will do nothing to seal this area. You actually need to make sure this is nice and centered and when you screw it on, You'll feel if there's any issues, but go ahead and tighten it down and keep it centered nice and pretty and you'll have no problems. You will have problems using Teflon tape, getting it boogered up in the inside and restricting the flow. There is no need to have Teflon tape on a flare fitting of any sort. Okay guys, we're going to dive into the oil feed line part of this kit by Mamba. I really like the quality of these lines. Uh, the compression fittings here at the ends look really good and the quality of the fittings are nice. Again, we've got a tapered fitting for the turbo side here, and this elbow makes it really nice so you can keep everything out of the way and away from hot items that are probably not good, so we'll probably route it this way. Uh, the other end of this is nice. We've got an inline filter, a screen, for the oil, uh, just to protect the turbocharger, protect the bearings that we're lubricating. There's an inline filter that you can actually take apart and clean, which is pretty cool. It's a little screen that's gonna catch debris before your, your turbo catches it. So that's pretty nice. Comes in the kit. This just goes in line. Again, tapered flare fitting, no Teflon. Goes into our line. And then it's going to go to a T that is supplied by Mamba. Again, I love this kit. Uh, you're going to unscrew the oil pressure sensor from the back of the engine, and we're going to T into it. Basically, this is where your oil pressure sensor would go. We're going to T into it there. Now, we've got our oil pressure sending out to us. And then on the opposite side is where we're going to keep our factory oil pressure sensor. That way we can retain all 
with the factory settings, we'll be able to still monitor our oil pressure if there's an issue. Um, but now, on the contrary of what I've been telling you guys, as you can see, this is not a tapered flare fitting. So we will be using Teflon tape on these parts. No flare, we're gonna be using Teflon. This piece, also, no flare. We're gonna be using Teflon, but check this out. This side does have a flare, all right? You following the differences between the two different styles of fittings where Teflon tape is needed and where it is not. Hopefully this is helpful to you guys. I'm gonna get this taped up and we're gonna be done with this side of the oil feed insulation for the turbocharger. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take some Teflon tape and seal up this splitter that was included in the kit by Mamba. All right guys, so now we're gonna install the return, the oil return side of this turbocharger. Uh, when it's mounted upright, this is on the bottom. So as you could assume with gravity, oil's gonna return down out the bottom of the turbo. So we've got our paper gasket, we've got our adapter plate, and we've got our bolts. So let's go ahead and again, just start one of them on the top by your finger. Just finger snug there. And we're gonna put on again just a little dab of our Loctite. Don't want any leaks, don't want that bolt coming out. Another dab. All right, let's tighten these down and then we'll be good to go. All right, so again, uh, same thing on the opposite side. We've got a flare fitting set up, okay? No need for thread tape on this stuff, guys. Torque it down, ready to go. Now this kit came with some really nice uh, oil resistant hose and some pretty good clamps. This is gonna come on to here and the nice thing that they did for us is as this oil drains out through gravity and goes back to the oil pan down this hose, you no longer have to drill a hole and weld a fitting to your oil pan. Instead, what we can do is, what they've come up with is a simple drill a hole, stick this guy in there with a washer that has a seal built into it, to prevent leaks. That's gonna go through your oil pan, another seal to prevent leaks, and then we're gonna tighten it from the inside of the oil pan. And what that's gonna do is create a sandwich effect, and boom. Now you have oil exiting the turbo and going back into the oil pan. I'll show you guys that later when we move on to the oil pan part.